we gave communion on World Communion Sunday to a 103 year old woman. And that was a moment, that was a special moment with her, sharing that with her, that I will carry with me. Um, but there, there's times that I, I'm involved with worship services. Uh, I'm involved with um, actually starting a small group, if anyone's from the Williamsport area. Um, <laughs> starting this Wednesday, we're going to meet at Starbucks. It's between Lycoming College and Pine Street Campus that we can meet together and just discuss current topics or, or what's going on. More geared towards college students. Um, it, it's just a neat opportunity. The internship mm-hmm. offers so much for you to, to get into, to explore. One of the hardest things I have, and this is like a dream come true, if you guys all have name tags on, <laughs> congregations don't have name tags on. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can picture someone, but you don't remember who they are. <laughs> and it's awfully hard to, hey, who are you? <laughs> but, but that's one of the, the different things. And another thing coming from a more rural church that I grew up in, is there's a lot of people that come off the street in downtown Williamsport who need help that are coming off the street that, you know, okay, 10, 15 people in a day. Well, in Jersey Shore, where I, I grew up, one a month would be, oh my word, what's going on? So, I mean, it gave me a different opportunity to see how that ministry works with the people off the street. Um, I'm able to collaborate uh, with the visitation pastor and the main pastor uh, to be able to, to meet with them and to go over stuff that's happening in the church and also to see, you know, what's going on with our, our shut-ins and how I can minister to those. But then also the planning of uh, visioning for a church and how that works together, and also how you know everything just comes together for Christmas season and Easter season, and how that all comes together. So it, it's been a great experience to me. Um, Aaron will take over from here. <laughs> I share Adam's difficulty with names, and I my I have one similarity between his internship and my internship, and that's we work in a church. Uh, I actually, all of that I do in the internship is <coughs> focused on youth ministry, specifically in a Methodist church, otherwise known as CHUM. Uh, Song Lake operates out of that. Uh, Stephen Gallagher is the one guy there. But he's actually only an associate, so I don't actually work on him. I work with uh, Drew Robertson. He's the lead youth pastor, and it's very, it's very different than what I, anything I've ever done. It wasn't really... I didn't really know what to expect when I was going into this because they were like, what do you want to do? And I was like, oh, okay, what do you want me to do? What do you want to do? What do you want me to do? And so it was very free-flowing and just like, whatever you have, whatever you have to give, we'll take it. And so I actually have helped develop a program for 6th and 7th graders that it basically splits up the youth group instead of being 6th through 12th which is a really hard group to, to minister to, and s- keeping it like 8 through 12 and 6 and 7, because that way Drew can take the older kids and actually get in-depth into other things that you can't really go in-depth through with 6th and 7th graders, and I can spend more time doing other things with them. So that's one thing I've been doing. And also another thing is we're getting, we're, we're trying this thing out that's called like this college kind of prep boot camp thing with all the seniors. And we're trying to take them out once a month and just talk to them about what it means to prepare for college, both financially and spiritually and academically, you know, what differences are good, they're going to be. Because I know I didn't have that, and I got to college and I was just like, oh, I didn't really know that, or I wasn't really expecting that. So it's really nice to be able to impart what I've learned at college and give that to people <coughs> who are about to enter college. And some of them are actually going to be at my college, so I can even continue to mentor them and continue to be around them. I mean, the internship for me has been a, an opportunity to grow and to learn an aspect of ministry that I don't really plan on doing as a full-time job. I, I don't plan on going into youth ministry. I plan on going into pastoral ministry and, and a legal lead pastor. And... I know I'm going to have to have a lot to do with youth ministry still. And so having this opportunity now and to learn from it now is something that I will definitely learn from and definitely use these skills that I'm learning so that if I go to a church where there is no youth program or a struggling youth program, I can help out with that. Or, I just lost my thought. But uh, those are the types of things that I will use this internship for. And, you know, I'm going to apply for this internship again next year whether I get it or not, whether I'm in the same church or not, this is a church that I still want to be a part of. Like, 
I, I can't help but invest in these kids' lives. And that's the one thing that I've been so blessed through this internship, that these kids are blessing me as much as I can bless them. And I learned so much from them. It's just so wonderful to get there. And they all know my name. I'm still struggling to remember all of their names, but they know my name. And <laughs> they appreciate me being there. I like to sit and talk with them about whatever's going on in their life. And that is something that I really cherish from this internship. And uh, that's probably what I'm going to take from it most. But I've got a whole semester left. So, let's hear it. So a little bit about the internship. It's two semesters. Um, we ask you to be in the local church 10 to 12 hours a week during your semester. And we do try to make it a, a church that's new to you. Um, like Adam was saying, he's in a large church now, and he grew up in a small church, and it's a world of difference. Um, and a lot of our churches are very different <coughs> from what we've grown up in. Um, the benefits, um, it's a $5,000 tuition help, um, which is a pretty nice help um, for doing an internship. And the applications come out in about in April, um, and we ask them back, back to me by May. So you'll all, the ones in college, I'll send you an application in case you're interested. Um, when we have the new application ready to go. But if you have any questions, let me know. Um, it's a great opportunity to get your feet wet and to learn about what's it look like and where am I gifted. And sometimes it's just as important to learn, oh my gosh, I can't stand this area of ministry, <laughs> as it is to learn what you're really called to do, because that's figuring it out as you go. So if you have questions, talk to either of them or talk to me. But thank you guys for trying it out and seeing where God's calling you and being a minister in your local areas. So thank you.